5. Dexoaddle Dexoaddle is an endangered amphibian in the sweet waters of the southern part of North America. For people inexperienced with exotic pets, this is the perfect pet. Still, if you decide to get an exoaddle, there are some things you should know. You won't find exoaddles in typical pet stores since they require conditions different from most other lizards and snakes. However, they are widely available from private breeders and exoaddle enthusiasts. A 10 gallon aquarium should be sufficient for a single exoaddle, but since they tend to make a lot of mess, you might decide to go for a bigger one. How big is average exoaddle? Exoaddles are 9 inches long. Exoaddles are carnivores. Although they eat meat, you should avoid feeding them live fish so as not to introduce contaminants into the exoaddle tank. You can also feed them bloodworm cubes. If you feel like you want to give them a treat, trying frozen brine shrimp might be a good idea. Your exoaddle will be a trusty friend as long as you keep him well fed, according to exoaddle enthusiasts. Watching an exoaddle at home can be a real pleasure. Exotic pet number 4, the capybara. The capybara is the largest living rodent species in the world. They are semi aquatic mammals. Capybaras are short haired brown rodents with flat noses, short legs, small ears, and almost without any tail. Although they are sometimes called giant guinea pigs, they are not as easy to care for as their smaller relatives. Capybaras are usually household pets, they mostly come in groups, but naturally they are not legal to own everywhere. These smart, friendly animals are relatively pleasant pets, but they do have some specific needs. What is the size of these sociable rodents? Their body is usually around 23 inches long and their weight 80 to 150 pounds, although the record is 200 pounds. Oh yes, they require plenty of space! Since they make for pretty sizable pets, you should ensure they have a lot of space as well as a pool filled with water, at least 35 inches deep. They are friendly animals and you should pair them up with another capybara. In nature alone, they eat 3 to 6 plant species. The most frequent ingredient in a pet capybara's diet should be a high quality hay grass. It's available in many pet stores and large animal shops and you should give it to them in large quantities. What follows are the top 3 most exotic pets in the world? Let's take a look! Exotic pet number 3, the common Janet. This mammal can be found all over Africa, parts of the Middle East and even Europe. Janets are becoming increasingly popular exotic house pets due to their gorgeous pets and unique behavior. Why? They are quick, agile and handsome creatures that require special care. For the right owner, they can be remarkably fun pets. If you've never seen a Janet, tickle a kitten with the face of a wild animal, a cheetah's spots and a lemur's tail. They are quite beautiful, but they are not always friendly pets. Your Janet should have a large, safe area for himself. A large cage for wild animals is the best option since they come equipped with multiple levels for them to climb. It's also difficult to break out of them. Janets also require a few hours of play outside their cage, daily. Janets with other pets. Not the best idea, Janets don't get along well with other pets in the house. If you want the best chance at forming a bond with your Janet, owners advise not having any other pets in the house with them. The recommendation is to feed them in their cage to avoid an accidental bite of a Janet feeling in danger while eating. Exotic pet number 2, the sugar glider. These small, cute and unique animals are popular exotic pets. Of course, a potential owner needs to be familiar with the sugar glider's personality and how to care for them. Owning a sugar glider is a long-term responsibility that requires a great deal of attention, space as well as a particular diet. If you want to have a friendly sugar glider, frequent interaction with them is vital. This way they should remain playful and fun. Sweet but dangerous. They have sharp teeth and nails. Although they are not aggressive, they will bite if you frighten them. As pets, sugar gliders have pretty specific dietary needs. Dietary imbalances due to inappropriate amounts of calcium and phosphorus are a frequent occurrence. Luckily, you can easily prevent those problems with a well-balanced diet. And now for the most exotic pets in the world, ready! The most exotic pet in the world is the Valaroo. Valaroos, just like Angerus and Valavis, are members of the Macropodidae family, meaning large food. 
Kangaroos are the largest, with wallabies being the smallest. Vavarus are a mid-sized mammals with large feet that carry their young in their pouch. Same as kangaroos, they stand on their hind legs, eat with their front paws, and carry their young in a pouch. Male vavarus can weigh between 45 and 100 pounds, while females are usually 40 to 45 pounds. Although it's unusual to own a vavaru in the United States, many people have heard of them. It's essential to check your country's laws and regulation on exotic pet ownership. Vavarus in the apartment? Very difficult! If you live in an apartment, a vavaru is probably not the best choice of pet. Vavarus require a large amount of space. Keeping a vavaru in an enclosed space is a big challenge. If you are considering keeping a vavaru in your home, you need diapers for them. You should also keep them away from any fragile objects. Vavarus are like balls in a china shop, thanks to their tendency to jump. Does the vavaru seem like the perfect choice of a new friend? Not so fast! Take your time to think about the decision. Caring for vavarus can be very expensive. Expect to pay anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000 for your pet, as well as additional investment in a fence, should you need one. Feeding them would also cost you $200 to $400 per month. If you are looking for a unique new pet, these exotic creatures might be the right option for you. They are not only beautiful, but also quite extraordinary, and are loved by animal enthusiasts the world over.